How's it going everyone? In today's video, I wanted to show you six development tools that I use on a pretty regular basis. These are desktop applications that I find have relieved a headache or two, and I wanted to make a video to show them off, and hopefully you can find one that might relieve some of your headaches as well. If you are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to make sure you get notified of all my weekly WordPress tutorials. All right, let's jump into it. All right, so the first one that I wanted to show off here is Local by Flywheel. This is kind of a MAMP replacement for me. So you can easily spin up and spin down WordPress sites. And when I say it's easy, it's extremely easy. It's very catered towards WordPress. So all you have to do is give yourself a site name, the setup that you want. You can choose the PHP version, Nginx or Apache, and the MySQL version. You give it a username and password as well as some permissions to actually add those files to your computer. And then you're up and running. You can do things like provision an SSL certificate. It gives you a dev mode to turn off varnish caching and it gives you a one click connection to SQL Pro. And as soon as it's done, you just click view site. And then all of a sudden you have example two dot local on your site and on your browser, I mean, and it's good to go. So. It's a really awesome tool, it's free, and it has a pro version, but it's uh, specific to Flywheel users. So, But all in all, awesome, awesome tool, and I highly recommend it. The next one that I wanna jump over to is SQL Pro. This is a database management tool that I use so often, especially when you're doing some more complex things with the database, or if you're debugging issues, that kind of stuff. It's a free desktop tool that uh, you can use to connect to either your local or your remote database. And the kind of cool thing about Flywheel, if I can go back for a second, is that you can just go over to database and click SQL Pro, and it will actually automatically connect to that database for you. So there's nothing too crazy that you have to do. So you can see here that I have example two.local. So really awesome tool, you can check out the structure of your database, you can write queries and just kind of browse the content of your site as well. So another really awesome thing here. The other one that I wanted to show off is uh, the Insomnia REST client. This is for debugging REST APIs. It is a very handy tool and I honestly can't believe that all of these features are free on it. But if I open up Insomnia here, we can uh, start connecting to APIs. Now, I'm just gonna show off just a quick get request because it's just so simple. You can just hit, um, let me just copy this example over, the one that I was messing with earlier. You can just hit new and you can do my, requ my request three. Let me type that in again, request three. It's gonna be a get request, you hit create. And you can copy and paste that URL in here and hit send. And then all of a sudden you get that response back over here on the right. So you, there's tons of different things that I can get into on this, but I'm just gonna leave that to you to explore. But you can do things like authenticate uh, with OAuth, you can do basic authentication. And one cool thing that I do wanna show you is that you can right click on a request that you made and click generate code. And so if you select PHP from the drop down menu and curl over here, now you have a giant PHP block that you can copy and paste into your application and you are good to go. So it makes debugging really easy. The other thing that I wanna show off is Transmit. Now this is the one that I'm showing off that is paid for, but it is paid for for a reason. Uh, Panic has created Transmit 5 and it's, oh, let's see how much it is actually. It's $45, so it's not that expensive for what you're getting. You get an incredible, uh, FTP client. It has tons of features like connecting to um, droplets on DigitalOcean really easily. It has um, kind of like this syncing feature that lets you only sync up in FTP files that have changed and you can uh, dictate what those parameters are. So you can change it if it's the, the modified date is different or if it's the file size that's different, it will only upload those then so it has a couple different rule sets you can do and you can also ignore node modules if that's something that you need to do as well so really handy there i'm not going to jump too much into it but i just want you guys to check it out it has saved me a lot of time 
The last two are ones that I hope that you guys know about, but I'm gonna show them off anyway. The first one here is Hyper. It is a terminal for Mac OS. And this one I use instead of the integrated terminal in Visual Studio Code. If you're running some pretty heavy things inside of the terminal, it can actually slow down Visual Studio Code. So this is one that I kind of keep off into another window that I run all of my heavy things like getting Docker containers started and all that. So it's really, really helpful. Um, it has, it's got a ton of cool themes and plugins. There's even like a John Cena plugin that will, I think it's like every 10%, like one out of every 10 times that you open it up, it'll just go crazy and stuff. Not saying they have to download it, but it is just kind of fun to see all of the different themes and plugins people can come up with on this thing. The last thing is my go-to editor of choice. It is Visual Studio Code. This is one that I highly recommend for just about any language that you're writing. It kind of started off with this idea that it was mostly for uh, JavaScript development and all that, but it has quickly blown past all of that and has quickly become my, my editor of choice. It has all of the plugins as things for like WordPress snippets. It has um, Xdebug and all of those different things. Like you can customize almost everything with this. Now it's not like a full blown IDE kind of like you would get out of PHP Storm or anything like that. And there's still part of me that kind of wants to migrate to PHP Storm a little bit specifically with how uh, intense I get with some of the WordPress development that we've been doing. It just has some extra features that this doesn't. But for those who don't know, this is a free, awesome, uh, uh, code editor that um, everybody should have at least installed on their computer. So anyway, I hope that some of these have been helpful to you, like just even knowing that they're out there to even explore. Uh, five out of six are free, so you can just go download them right now. But anyway, all of these have at least alleviated a headache or two of mine, and I hope that it alleviates a headache or two of yours. Um, remember guys, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment telling me that it was, and I will see you in the next one.